सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू डू सिटी स्कैन ऑफ पी एन एस कोरोनल व्यू ओनली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल शो यू हाउ टू गिव पोजिशन फॉर दिस स्कैन सिस्टम इज सिक्सटीन स्लाइस टोशिबा एक्टिव ऑन सिक्सटीन मॉडल सो यर इज द पोजिशन ऑफ पेशेंट इट इज इन कोरोनल कोरोनल प्लेन ओपन द इंडिकेटर लाइट टिल नैक यू हैव टू अलाइन एंड सिंपली क्लिक ऑन जीरो लाइट क्लोज एंड जीरो नाउ वे विल सी ऑन कंसोल यर इज द एंट्री डेस्क फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू फील द डेटा ऑफ पेशन From here, you have to select organ because PNS is included in head. So we will select organ as a head. Here I am taking directly a coronal sections. Okay, we can do helical scan also, but to see the exact fluid levels of the sinuses, we are doing your coronal plane scan. So I have kept one protocol in PNS. I have written PNS prone. Position is head first and prone. Okay. From here also you can check. This is PR. Patient is lying in a prone position. Always take one mm thin sections for PNS so that you can properly see all the anatomy of the sinuses. Wait until the scan start key lights. Here, you have to press two times. Here is the scanogram. Okay. Many of the peoples were asking me why you are not taking helical scan and you are only taking coronal scan to see the exact fluid levels of sinuses. We are taking coronal. otherwise you can take a supine scan and then after you can reconstruct the images and you can give the axial coronal and sagittal images okay so here is the scanogram starting point should be from frontal sinus and up till the mastoids you have to cover you can see the uh, spinal sinus gets over over here but we are taking few cuts till the mastoids so your first first slice should be on this frontal sinus and you are you have to angulate from frontal sinus to mandible oblique keep in mind always you should tilt the gantry oblique so that you can get a proper view the maximum degree is 16.5 so this much is enough there is no issue keep the centering this is a centering line you have to divide this curl in two parts and you have to center okay so this is the planning for pns starting point is frontal sinus up till mastoids you should know anatomy before scanning the pns all the sinuses you have to cover frontal maxillary ethmoid sphenoid everything okay here data you can see the thickness is 1 mm M is 50 and KV is 100. From here, you have to confirm. Okay. Scan will move to the scanning position. This is the tilt of the gantry. You have to tilt from here. You have to keep it pressing continuously up till the gantry is moving. You can see there the gantry is. Now you can see the gantry is moving now. Ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-eight, 
13 up till 15 continuously it will move then again you have to press now rest of the direction it will give now now scan wait until you scan start key lights now you have to press this now we will see the images before starting the scan see the proper position from this filming you can angulate this image from here you can rotate okay. but try to give a proper position so that given the proper position was but patient has changed no issue I will change the direction later on Now we will check from the very beginning images how the scan has came. So this is the frontal sinus you can see frontal sinus there is a small polyp this is nasal nasal bone it mud sinuses maxillary these are the turbinates this is spinot sinus Before taking out patient, you have to check the images whether there is a moment or not. If there is a moment, you have to repeat the scan. This is eye globe, orbits, roof of orbit, floor of orbit, lateral wall of orbit, axilla mandible. I will show you in the filming portion. From here you can change the rotation, there is no issue if the patient is not giving proper position. So these are the scan of sinuses. For filming you have to zoom this much of image then only you can print these images so this is how you can scan ENS coronal view on this 16 slice Toshiba if you are doing a helical scan then also you can take this is my protocol for helical prone at first ok change the direction simply you have to same you have to plan from the frontal bone frontal sinus up to the mastoids this is helical planning ok this is helical scan after getting this scan you can change into axials sagittals but for helical scan you have to ideally you have to take in a supine position then after only you should reconstruct the rest of the planes ok so always for helical scan you should take in axial mode so hope you will like my video please like share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more updates thanks for watching